the suburban comedy vibes going with Amy Blaze and Dave Sitko. All right. Here we go. Oh, my God. You guys walk into a Portillo's at 945. They know they're not going home early. Jesus right. fucking Christ. You say that like Portillo's is bad food. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Oh, trash. <laughs> All right. Who wants to go first? Guys? I'll go first. You'll go first? All, All right. right. Uh, Dave's going to go first. You guys know the drill. Three, two, one. All right, everyone. Uh, Amy works at a dispensary selling weed. Uh, between that and her pussy, that's two things she sells that smell like a skunk. <laughs> Wow. All right. Off the bat. Uh, it's personal. David's really into EDM. You guys familiar? That's uh, exotic dog meats. I don't know if you... Favorite food. <laughs> Love dog cock. Can't get enough. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, Amy's pussy is like the uh, Ocean Gate Titan sub. There's usually five guys inside it that pay too much to be there, and their face is about to get crushed to death. Oh, I fucking wish, dude. That sounds amazing. Uh, David Sinko's really into uh, double penetration, uh, which to him just means that he likes to eat while taking a shit. I take big shits. <laughs> She's got me on that one, guys. Yeah, very uh, productive with his time, I think. <laughs> Goes right through. <laughs> Spit roasted, baby. Oh, sick. All right, uh, Amy likes to give her dates a shot of Malort. Yep. Uh, it's not that she loves Malort. She's just trying to get them used to the taste of her pussy. David, how would you know? Jesus. I love Malort. <laughs> uh, David, uh, David Marie Sitko, he suffers. Uh, he's got gout. I don't know if you know what gout is. It's short for get out in me swamp, <laughs> you fucking ogre. Um. <laughs> just wait. All right. <laughs> Uh, Amy looks like she dates guys with uh, five-finger death punch tattoos. The truth is, she dates guys with Kelly Clarkson tattoos and then wonders why that relationship ended in divorce. The crowd's mad at you for that one. <laughs> I literally go to court for my divorce Thursday. <laughs> so, uh, also, you go to the Are we in a roast battle? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this woman hangs out with my ex all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, boo. <laughs> also, big Alanis Morissette fan, which is why he goes down on my ex in a theater. God's one of us, and he's in between. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Kelly Clarkson. Go ahead. Yeah, all right. Uh, Amy only dates two type of guys. Black dudes and white dudes that think they're black dudes and say the N-word. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, David loves eating food, and he loves eating ass. Yes, give it up for that. By looking at him, you would think he exclusively eats one. By smelling him, you would think he exclusively eats the other. You know you're supposed to be roasting me. Yeah, I eat ass. <laughs> you fucking smell Line him. Line up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Amy's queefs sound like Shrek and smell like donkey. Get out of me, swamp. Oh. Uh, David, uh, his favorite phrase is everybody's got to eat, which actually pertains to him getting laid by anybody, literally. Uh, but surprisingly, David takes home, he goes to bed with a lot of nines and, nines and tens, which is his order at Portillo's. <laughs> so. All right. Amy's pussy has had so many dirty old dudes in it that it just received its forklift operator certification. <laughs> Good for him, all right? <laughs> Who doesn't want their forklift certification? <laughs> I do. <laughs> uh, David Sitko is actually a stage name. Uh, it's not David Sitko, it's David British Petroleum. <laughs> he just wanted you to forget about all that crude waste he dumped. Oh. That's all I got. Yeah, yes, yeah. That was, uh, that was seven. There we go, give it up for him, guys. All right. Here we go. Amy Blaze, Dave Sitko. 
Wow, a weird car ride for sure. All right, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Pull down the windows. It's gonna smell weird. All right, let's keep it moving. Chris, you guys see you down the end. You're perched. You're ready to go. Yeah, I mean, tough night for flannel shirts, huh? But <laughs> I knew what he was gonna wear. It's very predictable. Yeah, him. So. Listen, I mean, I think it was great. It was like watching a Harry Potter fan club break up. Um, yes, uh, Dave, you, you got to lose some weight. Amy, you got to lose some gums. But I think, shut up. But I thought it was good. Uh, you know, it was just like a, you know, it was like, it was like somebody getting in an argument with a circus mirror, depending on which side you're on. I mean, uh, I liked it. Uh, Amy, I think the Atlantis Morissette joke kind of put me over because you were neck and neck for most of it. So Amy gets my vote. All right, one for Amy, one for Amy. I hear some people picking sides here in the audience. Let's keep it moving. Let me shake it up. Let me shake up. Connor Mook, how are you feeling, buddy? Yeah, I'm excited to go home and watch House of Dragon tonight, but the battle of uh, high blood pressure was a good appetizer. <laughs> I fucked that up, but that's fine. Uh, I learned a couple things. Amy, you're getting a divorce, and you have really shitty tattoos. Let's hope your husband wins some of those in the proceedings. Um, and you guys driving home together, that car is going to smell like absolute shit. <laughs> I don't even know who... No, I think I'm going to go with... Uh... All right, go with Sitko for sure after that. Uh... You're, going with, you're going with Dave Sitko. Dave Sitko. Dave Sitko. Dave Sitko. Dave Sitko. Dave. We got one for one here. One for one. Stephanie, how you feeling? One for one here. Yeah, I like that. It was a fun battle uh, between Jelly and Roll. That's cool. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that was ex you guys both had Shrek jokes for each other yeah. <laughs> before, but that goes to show you guys are very similarly looking. I um, just different genders. I um, I am actually having a hard time uh, d deciding who it goes to because you guys both had great jokes uh, individually and worked really well together. It was a fun battle. Um, shit. I I mean I just have a f yeah. Stop doing that. Yeah. It's not doing me favors. <laughs> Amy. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I will, I'll go with Amy. I really liked your energy. All right. Good. This one's getting interesting. Two for Amy, one for Dave. Brandon, how you feeling? All right. <laughs> which one's Amy and which one's Dave again? <laughs> I want to make sure I get my vote right. <laughs> Sorry, I spaced out for a minute. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I got to go, Amy. Yeah, oh, I'm going to go. There you go. <laughs> Amy is your winner. Give it up for Amy Blaze. Give it up for Dave Sitko as well. Two of the absolute gems of suburban comedy. Yeah, there we go. They put the burp in burbies, baby. There we go. Give it up for them. Let's on Afterburn, we just had the Rosemont show. We have two of the burby finest right here. I've gotten drunk with these people in Aurora at some point, and they've told me, Kevin, you shouldn't drive home, and I told them, I don't have a car. All right, so here we are, Dave Sitko, yes. Amy Blaze. How did you feel about it? Oh, phenomenal. So much fun. Had a great time. What was your favorite joke that she said about you? The Alanis Morissette one. Absolutely crushed. I don't know how you would physically go down on anyone in a theater. David, he's he's a he's a master of his craft. <laughs> as long as there's popcorn around. He just throws it in while he's doing it. Cuts the hole in the... Yeah. What was your favorite joke you did about you? Um, I, I actually liked the joke that prompted that joke, because I actually wasn't going to do that Atlantis joke. So you, called, you called an audible while you were up there? Yeah, uh, I wasn't going to do it unless he brought up my ex-husband. Okay. And then he's still friends with your ex-husband. He is. What a shitbag, right? There we go. They had like a D&D &D Dungeons and Dragons they group together? Like, talk movies and watch wrestling and jerk each other off and stuff. I, yeah, that last part, I don't know about that. I know, wrestling, I'm by the way. Sure that, <laughs> that last part, part I don't know. That's the true part. I don't, I don't, One of those things was a lie. All right. It, it was the wrestling part. Okay. Yeah. All right. R way to power bomb it there, Amy. Uh, <laughs> but, but no, I know you guys have a lot of projects going on for people that are following us who are diehards. Where, where can they check out what you do? I know you have a podcast. I know you're, yeah. doing, you're doing Still Not Fridays. Where are they going? And we um, the show. 
Yeah, I was, I, yeah, I was yeah. literally about to pitch uh, up. All social medias, you can find us there. The Happy Corner is on all social media platforms for your listening and viewing pleasure. Uh, see you next Tuesday as a comedy open mic. We run every Tuesday. It's an abbreviation for something. Oh, yeah, it is. I don't know what it is. I, uh, I'm not that clever. Um, shots and giggles uh, at the Drunken Donut. Which you I've, pl- I've, I've played the Drunken Donut. I've and performed in front of a glass counter once or twice. Once or twice. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, we do that the fourth Saturday every month. Me and David together, actually. There yeah. There we go. There we go. You guys put in, burn some calories, and of course, tell them about still not Fridays. I've done that with you a handful of times, right? Yes. Yes. So that's every uh, Thursday at the Two Brothers Roundhouse in Aurora. Uh, yeah, the free show every Thursday. It's a great show, and uh, yeah. Yeah, and also uh, we we did a show there about yeah. about a year and a half ago. We had, we had a roast battle Chicago show out at uh, at Two Brothers. Shout out, shout out, shout out to uh, B- Burby Daddy, Burby Daddy, Burby Daddy, Matt Dropkick. You know you know Papa Suburbs. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving.